kind of a unusual sunset. The temptation of food is far stronger than the fear of people. Want to be on YouTube? Yeah, we're going to do this bachelor style. Mm-hmm. The butter, real butter, not some of that imitation stuff. Some real maple syrup. This stuff is getting worth its weight in gold. my coffee cup <laughs> yeah coffee cuppy hey guys easy jeezy here another week has gone by and I want to tear into this training project get it done uh, I can't seem to get my thoughts organized and I can't seem to get my stuff organized but uh, this has all been a big help I know some of you are waiting for this information uh, you know how a transmission works you want to see some of the uh, the meat of this I guess you could say and uh, I just spent all morning I, I knew that someplace I had a nut for the end of my uh, pinion shaft and I was going to need that in my project and I couldn't find any pieces for that. I knew I had them. At some point I remember trying to put my nuts <laughs> all in the same bag and uh, that's a good thing and I had a bunch of detents and some other things that I needed to finish this build and so I went uh, looking for stuff I happened to go down under the house and uh, turned out a couple of my downspouts had come loose and if you'll remember a couple months ago when my uh, washing machine overflowed evidently I, I guess I haven't been down there or didn't notice it but one of my insulated heating ducts it's that flex duct with a plastic over it was almost down in the dirt it's like what the hell's going on here and it was full of water look I didn't freeze up that end of the house I don't think anything was going through that duct not to mention all that old stagnant water sitting in there so I got that draining and got the one outside and then I had to get roof uh, the snow off the roof of the trailer it was almost you know 50 degrees yesterday it's supposed to hit 60 today so it's like a floodplain out here and uh, I just uh, oh my gosh I just going through stuff but I did find a bunch of other stuff that uh, we can talk about later on you know I found one of those uh, uh, this, this is one of those beef diffs where you can add an, a couple extra spider gears uh, a little gene bird product there and uh, I've been finding a bunch of stuff. Found uh, a couple of those uh, heavy-duty side covers, and here's a, here's an old uh, race car find. This is what originated the eight uh, uh, eight-pin crankshaft sequence. This is an old SPG flywheel when they uh, gave it a shot with a roller cranks. This thing's got aluminum with a st steel center. It weighs like six pounds, I, as I recall. Uh, way lighter than the, the steel ones, so you get quick RPM. But that never caught on. The uh, roller cranks are just... Uh, they didn't have enough power the way they locked them together. They were less friction, and they rolled real nice. But there was, uh, there was some issues with them. I won't go into that. And I uh, found a bunch of gears and started going through this stuff. I couldn't find anything in the crawl space. Oh, uh, 
So uh, I got out here in the garage and you can see that I've made attempts to clean this stuff from time to time and sort it. And uh, I needed my, uh, my uh, snap rings. They come in different sizes, different widths, so that you can put together your, uh, your stack. Look at that, I got all my, all the little things I needed and was looking for. And some extra little goodies. I knew I'd put them all in a special place. Here's a whole bin full of detents. And uh, we'll look at some of this stuff later. But I just can't seem to uh, get started here and and uh, get keep going on track. Found all this old uh, head stuff here. Just watching the, watching the snow melt and it... Uh, it's a beautiful day and we need the moisture so glad about that had a nice start made myself some French toast and headed out here with a good intentions it's just that uh, everything comes to a screeching halt so let me catch my breath here and uh, get organized I won't have to put the vehicles in the garage well I didn't have to anyhow but I kind of like doing that Got some of that crud washed off the truck, went to the car wash yesterday. But, but first things first, I got to get a little reorganized and then uh, I got to see if this, uh, that's what the that's what the project is. Get that ring pinion in my transmission. Oh my goodness, what a wreck. So anyhow, sorry I'm babbling, but uh, I'm so happy I found that box of stuff. You know, so a lot of times you just let your subconscious think about it and it pops to you, pops in your head. But it was taking a long time. I've been waiting for that box to show up for like two weeks. So finally it's here. I'm going to take a little break, watch one of your videos, and uh, thanks for watching mine. Easy Jeezy out. Some days you can't win for losing. Uh, when you shut the garage door and uh, go in and have a cough of cuppy and uh, the power's out so not a big deal if it doesn't stay out too long but all this water melting I'm not surprised I live in one of them older neighborhoods with the overhead power lines and uh, something probably got soaked with water or something hope that doesn't last too long but uh, just another excuse not to stay on the project and it's a little chilly to be standing here in the garage door and yeah, I'm spoiled. I don't want to uh, be dinking around with this stuff. I want to close her up and get the heat on.